Guys, we're back for the Magic Kingdom today, but check it out. There's no more gates. What? No more Mickey and Friends gates. I wonder if they're just getting upgraded or if they're gone completely forever. We'll have to wait and see. Guys, we're back at the Magic Kingdom as you heard before because I showed you that those gates are now missing. But we're back. I mean, we're almost back. We're heading towards the gate. Aubrey came today too. Hello. So we're just going to have a fun day. Just chill, relax. I don't think there's really a plan of attack today. I think we're just going to hang out, go on whatever rides we want, eat whatever we want, and just have a fun time. Sometimes those are the best plans. So come along with us, guys, and let's have a fun day. It worked. Thank you. Woo. And we're back inside the Magic Kingdom just like that. Let's go have a magical day, guys. But I love using my phone to get in. It's great. Even though I wore my magic pan, but I wanted to try it again. I really love coming in and seeing the train station. It's the best sight ever. Don't, don't mind if it looks plasticky and not real. It is totally real. We only cover the real content here on Brian's Magic Live. Guys, if you're new here, go ahead and please like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Smash that like button for me. It gives a lot more good to the channel than you think. Go ahead and subscribe for me, please. It really helps also. Go ahead and also share this around with your friends and family who you think will love some Disney content. Because guess what? I'm at Disney every single week. And uh, I'm also going to bring you some Volcano Bay con content and maybe some Universal content since uh, I get in for free over there now that I work there. So let's go have a magical day, guys. Oh, I also forgot. Turn on the notifications so you never miss a single upload. Oh, look at this, Mickey. So good. It's always so pretty. I don't think I've ever really ever shown this in any of my videos, so I'm showing it now. But Mickey, you're so great. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. All right, let's go, guys. Guys, one of the things that I like to do sometimes is just walk around and see what I can find. And I honestly forgot that this chair was here. This is the kind of chair that they would use back in the day for you to sit in and, uh, you know, kid or, you know, young man would shine your shoes for you and get them nice and neat for you. And, you you know, you tip them in money and they tell you, you know, that, to have a good day and all that good stuff. So... I wonder if I sit here, will anyone come and shine my shoes? Let's test this real quick. Let's see if anyone will come and shine my shoes. Hey, look at that. Oh, it's Aub Aubrey <laughs> shining my shoes. I, well, my theory is correct. If you sit here, somebody may come shine your shoes. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, it looks like Pooh and his friends are about to come out. So we're going to hang out here for a couple minutes and wait for them to come on through. In the very beginning of this, this is Pooh and characters coming out to play. Although I don't see Pooh. Hi! It's Rabbit and Eeyore. Hi, Rabbit! Hi! Eeyore's over there. Piglet! Hi, Piglet! And Tigger! Hi, Tigger! Look at Tigger. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Fun, 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 fun. All right guys, hard hitting news here. Something I've never seen. It's not really hard hitting. Someone else has probably covered it and I probably missed it in their vlog when I watched, but they have Pizza Planet Magic Band. You've got the rocket there and you've got the little alien. Oh, they should have made him green, but I, I, I get why he's not because look, it's, it's red, white with the black outline. So I get it, but awesome. And that's a bronze one. So that one is $29.99. Not bad. I might have to come back and get this one because I love Pizza Planet. All right, guys. So we came in Emporium and we found the new weighted plushes. They are awesome. They're to help deal with like ADHD, anxiety, and all those good things. But they got Mickey Mouse, and I want it. Uh, it's $39.99, and they've got a variety. They have Minnie Mickey. Good old Eeyore, which is Aubrey's favorite. Probably Pooh also. She probably wants both. She wants both. Um, so that would, that would run her about 80 bucks because they are $39.99. But they, I think, will be worth it. I'm probably going to invest in one at some point. I'm a grown man, and even I could use one of these. Okay, guys. We're going to go onward and find some more cool stuff. Actually, here's something cool. Indiana Jones Mickey. Hey, bud. He is $22.99. And then you got... Fantastic, Mickey. Even cooler. All right. Let's go see what else we can find, shall we? And guys, with Pride Month, a little bit, just very, like a month away, basically, we are starting to see more Pride 
Pride merchandise here. You got this Mad Bank, the most magical place on Earth, Walt Disney World. And then this one, which says love. And I, I saw some more Pride merchandise. There was actually a dog collar that was the Pride rainbow. And that was really cute. I wanna see what else we can find from this, okay? So let's go. And here's the summer collection, guys. So we've got these nice floral summery ears, one size fits all. Probably the same price as the rest. How cute. Got these cute dresses yeah. and tops and bottoms. There is How so cute. much more to this summer collection to show you. So let's go ahead and just dive on in, shall we? Oh, but there's some more pride stuff over there too. Okay, we'll just stick to one thing for now. So we got some more tops here, this lovely pink one. And guys, we got a new lounge fly here. That's really nice. Look, and it's got like a bamboo handle. Yeah, and that is $75, but guess what? If you're an annual pass holder, you get a discount. You got these, it looks like very cute earrings. Let's make sure, yep, those are earrings. And then these cute tops too. Really, really nice. Uh, this one is $36.99 plus tax. And then another really cute sweater and some sweat shorts to go with it. I call them sweat shorts because they're basically the same material. But uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, that's actually really thin. Wow. And this cute purse. And all oh, this stuff. Oh, check it out, guys. There's this. I'm going to need to get this shirt. Walt Disney World shirt. Um, this is a, the men's shirt. Well, I'm sure it's probably unisex. Uh, this is $36.99. And then this shirt again is over here it's really really cute and then you got this hat which i'm sure is part of this collection and i already have it as you've seen in my video all right guys and more of this collection so there's also plates as there always is with every collection so those really nice plates bowls smaller bowls and this really nice scented wax candle Let's see if i can smell it oh it smells like the beach and coconut and everything i wonder if it says what it is it does not but it is $24.99 and you got this really cool, I want to call it stein, but I know it's just like a jug to pour juice out of. That's really nice, but it's very fragile. That is $39.99, and I'm going to be very careful putting that back. And we are going to move on. Oh, no, we're not, because there's also these cool towels. Look at these. Oh, that's not a towel. That's like a, a blanket to lay on. That's really nice. Here's more of the Pride March, guys. So there's a Pride mask. Really cute. The basic buttons that they have every year, uh, along with a new one, the Pixar collection. And then you got this Disney collection as well. Really nice Star Wars, Marvel. I love that stitch right there. And then you got this cool keychain and lanyard. You got a magic pan, of course. And you've even got these dog collars. These are really cute. Nice shirts. You got your Pride Mickey Mini. Another nice shirt, a mug, Mickey ears, a, a more subtle shirt, like just a nice little pride Mickey on it, but it is a very nice gray. It's a really nice shirt. It's $59.99. And you've even got a pride lounge fly, guys. Really nice. Really, really nice indeed. And then I think that's everything. And these sweats, which are $44.99. And guys, now that we're outside of the store, guess what? No mask. Because guess what? You don't have to wear your mask outdoors anymore. You do still need to wear your mask anytime you're in line for a ride, while you're on the ride, when you're indoors at a store, or waiting for your food. Once you have your food, then you can take your mask off and start eating and drinking. And then once you're done, put it on, set your back outside. So, that's a cool little update. And the social distancing is starting to go down from six feet to three feet gradually in some places. It's still like six feet over here, but I've seen a couple other places where it's been a little closer. So we'll keep you updated on that. Here comes the Fillmore Magic. update that I have for you. See this castle? You see that clock? There is going to be a 50th anniversary button put right over the top of that. Disney just filed the permit to go ahead and get that okayed to be installed. So I feel like that will be getting put on there anytime now. So we'll keep an eye on it and keep you updated. So guys, as we're heading into Liberty Square, um, there is 
I guess a, a little update over here that I didn't mention last time we were here. So it's not really that new anymore, but Liberty Square uh, and Sleepy Hollow in Liberty Square, they have been added to the mobile order. So you can do your mobile order, but you don't have to do mobile order. You can still get in line and order it that way. Also, they stop serving the fresh fruit and Nutella waffle sandwiches after 11 a.m. They do not serve it all day anymore. That's a bummer. It's my, one of my favorite treats there. Not that I've gotten in a while, but it, it is a favorite treat of mine. So there's a little Sleepy Hollow update for you. I may come back here in a little bit, guys, because I'm getting a little hungry. I've been wanting to try that corn dog for a while, so maybe we'll come back and get a corn dog. Also, guys, it's what? It's May now, and Hall of Presidents is still closed. I did not think it took that long to make a new president, Disney. Give us our new president, please. So also guys, as I mentioned, the face masks are not required, but you can still wear them. It's a pretty good mix of, I would say like 50 to 50 ratio of people that feel comfortable enough not wearing them to people that are still wearing them. So you can still wear them. If you're not comfortable not wearing them, that is okay. They're, they're not restricted from wearing them outdoors. You can still wear them everywhere you want. So keep that in mind as well. We're going to head over to the Haunted Mansion now and have a spooky good time. Well, here we go. Foolish mortals to the Haunted Mansion. Now. guys now that we finished a fantastic lunch we actually had lunch at Pecos Bill which was not the plan we didn't really have a plan but we thought maybe the corn dogs but so once to Pecos Bill I haven't had the nachos there like I think ever they were really really good um, also look behind me check it out the cheeseburger egg rolls and stuff that cart is open which I have not seen it open in forever uh, now we are going to head over to like the Tomorrowland and Fantasyland side of the park and see where the day takes us. Let's go! Guys, as you can see, everybody's enjoying being able to take pictures without their masks and just walk around. And I actually uh, also wanted to point out, you can now eat and drink while walking around. You don't have to be stationary while you eat and drink outside, that is. If you're inside, you can't walk around and eat and drink. You need to be sitting down inside. But look at this beautiful view of the castle. I love it. Okay, I think we're gonna keep it moving forward. Well, guys, clearly Tomorrowland is popping because you got these long lines for People Mover and Astro Blaster, and all the way down and around here for the Carousel Progress. So it's about a 25 minute wait. On the app, it says uh, People Mover is 25, Astro Blaster was about 30, and Buzz is 30. So it is popping over here. So we're gonna wait in line and get on Carousel Progress. We just got off Carousel Progress. That was fun. Obviously, they tell us not to film in there, so that's why I didn't see anything. But uh, it was a good time. It was a nice little 20-minute break. Definitely needed it. 
Make sure with the hot ones coming back up that you guys take all the breaks you need. Sit down, relax, don't rush around. I know for some people it's like a once in a lifetime trip, but I promise you, you'll enjoy it a lot more if you just sit back and relax for a couple minutes, chug some water, and then get back moving. So, we're gonna go do something else. Maybe People Mover? Looks like we're gonna go to People Mover. And we can film on there. So let's go have some fun. Made it on the People Mover. Circle Tour of Tomorrowland. exciting places you'll want to be sure to enjoy today while visiting this land of tomorrow. <laughs> So, let's just skip it. Guys, the lights, they are on. What in the world? I want, excuse me, Wall. May I have your attention? Wow. Please remain seated. <laughs> and we're stopped. This ride has stopped. And we're going backwards. And will resume motion at any time. That's so cool. Please remain seated for your own safety. Wow. Thank you. Guys, I've never seen it with the lights on, like, in person. I've seen other people's videos, but it's so cool. <laughs> now we're moving again, guys, so let's get an even better look at this track. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. This is blowing my mind, guys. How close your head is to the track at all times. Yes, that was freaking cool, but now let's look at Tron again. Hi Tron! Stop at uh, that Starbucks, and then we'll keep on going from there and see what we do. 
us this transportation. Thanks for joining us, guys. Always. Uh, just, it's so nice that you guys keep joining us week after week, and it really means thank the world to me. And I know there's not a bunch of you, so thank you. Um, go ahead and, like I said, go ahead and just smash this with a big thumbs up. Subscribe while you're here. Leave a comment. Let me know what else you might want to see. Let me know what you enjoyed in this video so I know what else to keep doing. And share it around. Thanks, guys. This is fun, walking around and... Nothing better than just walking around and drinking. I love it. Good stuff. So guys, I think we, I think we all took for granted how much we missed being able to walk around with our favorite beverages. It's, it's really nice, isn't it? We're just walking around with our drinks. This is fun. I love it. Now that we got our handy dandy drinks from Starbs, as we like to call it, Starbs. Um, we're gonna head through Adventureland and head to Big Thunder Mountain because it's just gonna be a big loop around to it. And it shouldn't be too bad. I guess we'll find out for sure. Guys, check out this cup. This is awesome. And it screams if you unscrew it, but I can't unscrew it. It's with one hand, but it screams. So how cool is that? But uh, it doesn't have the... This was a lost item, by the way, guys. I'm, I... <laughs> but I'm just playing with it. But yeah, if you uncork it or unscrew it, it screams. So that's pretty cool. I did a good thing, guys. So I took the cup and I gave it to a cast member so no one else would take it that it didn't belong to. So they're gonna take it to Lost and Found and hopefully whoever lost it finds it at Lost and Found. If you ever find something like, like that, that someone might take, just pick it up, take it to a cast member. You never know. So guys, if you, as you can see, John Cruz and Divine is over here, eh, just near the Robinson Treehouse. And uh, yeah, it's a 15 minute wait according to that sign. Hey. This camel, I want him to start spitting again. Now that we're all vaccinated, can we just have him spit again, please? I know we're not all vaccinated yet, but I am. So just spit on me. I don't care. Do it. Let's go. Come on. Okay, I care. I care. <laughs> Anywho, um, also after we hit up Big Thunder, I think we're gonna head over to the Polynesian and get some Dole Whips. And we're gonna go over there because there's special merchandise we wanna check out. So, let's get over to Big Thunder and then over to Polynesian. And then um, we have a little surprise for you at the end of the night. But coming through Adventureland may not have been the best idea. It's a little bit crowded in here today. Oh well, you live, you learn. Just got off Big Thunder. You were there with us. You saw. We had a fun time. Now we're gonna head over to the Polynesian and uh, get some gold maybe, and check out some cool merchandise. And then after that, I think we might head to Epcot for a tiny little bit. We'll find out. We'll see how we feel after the Polynesian because we have to get off at the TTC and walk over to the Polynesian from there, or get off at the Grand Floridian and walk over to the Polynesian from there. Either way, we gotta walk, and we might be tired after that. Who knows? So. Let's guys, go. Change of plans. We're not going to head over to the Polynesian. We're going to do that another time. We want to go to Epcot. So we're going to head to the car, hop on over to Epcot, hang out there a little bit, and we'll bring you along. So let's see what we do there. Let's have some fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like my tagline. Let's have fun. I don't know. Um, but here we go.